Welcome to Legacy Therapy, the podcast that will teach you in bite-sized chunks how to leave a stress-free legacy so loved ones can focus on people, not paperwork, when you become ill or pass away. Here is your host and financial advocate, Stacy golden Lisnock. Hello, and welcome to the introduction podcast of Legacy Therapy, where you will learn planning techniques for a stress-free legacy. I'm your host, Stacey golden Lisnock. I'd like to start out at this first episode by giving you some background on me, and that's just what they tell me that I should do, so here we go. I don't like to brag, but if they say that you did it, then it's not bragging, so um, you can decide. But first off, I, I want to tell you that honestly, I was born to be a planner. As far back as I can remember, I had plans and I'm plans. And basically, I was able to be a model student and the teachers absolutely loved me. And come to find out that many years later, I found out that uh, other students thought that I was weird. But that weirdness got me to get through high school uh, at the top of my class and I was able to get through college in three years. And so I, I feel like that was really great planning. And I also was able to uh, land a job in aerospace company at 21. And by the age of 23, I had my house. So that was my plan. And I did a good job there. And I was on quite a roll. I like to plan. So while I was at the aerospace company, I got a flyer in the mail and it it was telling me that I could be a financial advisor. And the reason I got that flyer is because when I was in college, I got my insurance license and I did a little bit of insurance sales um, while I was studying. And so I entered the financial services industry and as a financial advisor, and I did that for, for 30 years. And then I had a health issue that set me back quite a bit. And that was, um, what led me to host this podcast today. So that's really the professional side in a nutshell. It's a pretty small nutshell, but just to keep this brief. And so I'm gonna tell you a little bit now about my personal life, just so that you get to know me a bit. So we'll be hopefully meeting each week here to talk about things uh, regarding leaving a really nice legacy for your family. So I am a sister, in fact, that's quite a story. I have siblings that span in age from 78 to 55. I have four of them. And if my parents were actually still alive, they would be 107 and 101. And I've been married for quite a long time to George, and uh, he is originally from New Jersey. But I am a native Californian. And I have two grown children, a girl and a boy. And just to let you know, I did plan it that way, uh, read a book. And so I was able to, after having the girl, make sure my second was a boy. So I am a planner at heart. And I'm also a grandma. And of course, I didn't plan that, but I'm a grandma. And uh, my brilliant two and a half year old granddaughter is named Mila. So hopefully Mila will be really proud of her grandma for having a podcast. So it's not so uncommon now, but you know, growing up in Southern California, it was really odd to be a native. Uh, but my family actually came here from Toronto, Canada, when and just before I was born. So I love it. The fact that they moved here because of the nice weather, and I'm just so thankful for that because I do not do well at all in the cold. In fact, I never even saw snow till I was 16 and a bunch of us took a little road trip up to the local mountains here. And that's the first time I ever saw snow. So with all that background behind us, um, and now I'm hosting this podcast, how did that come about? Well, remember I mentioned that I had a health issue? Well, that was in 19, in 19, in 2018. I was literally laid up for a really good part of the whole year, actually, from the shingles virus. And it took a long time for me to get better and to feel like I could actually work again because it all come, came on due to stress. So uh, in that state of mind, I decided that I wanted to help people get prepared 
for life events like a sudden illness and or a debilitating accident. And then also, obviously, everyone's going to die one day. So you better be prepared or you should be prepared. And so that's what happened. Being laid up for all that time got me thinking that even though I am a planner and most people would say that I'm most, the most organized person that they know, I really didn't have all my decks in a row. Even though I wanted to believe I did, it was pretty obvious to me that uh, being sick and laid up, I really was not prepared to have somebody else step in and take care of my personal business, my actual financial planning business, and also uh, my daily responsibilities. So Lucky for me, I did gain um, my health back. And in that, I, I got the motivation and the determination to begin to look for ways to get my affairs in order. And so I decided, well, I might as well help some other people do the same thing. I certainly have a clients that could use the service. And most people that I talk to are with me on it. They're like, yeah, I know. I don't have my stuff together. And I, uh, everybody knows somebody that has a terrible story. And so the, the podcast Legacy Therapy is really designed uh, to hear those stories. And also, uh, I created a course, an online course called Got It Together. And that's going to be uh, the catapulting to allow people to actually put everything in one place, organized, up to date, so that if something did happen, it would be all ready to go. So this show really is designed for people that, like me, they, they think it is important to prepare and plan for times of turmoil, but really that's kind of a bit dramatic. Really, it's about everybody who cares to protect their loved ones because if they don't get their documents updated and organized and in one place before it's too late, then it will cause other people to have to stress out and not have the life that they deserve because they would be having to take care of your business. Now, by listening to this podcast, you'll gain insight and knowledge that you're really not going to find anywhere else. And the reason why is because you're going to hear from guests who are going to share their personal stories, their experiences, because they were in the middle of, or they personally handled the affairs of a loved one, both good and bad. But most of the time, I'm sad to say that most of the stories are in the bad category. And so that was really my motivation too, to not have this happen to people as long as they know that they can prevent it. It is going to be a real learning experience for us listening. And I believe it will be therapeutic for them to be telling their story. And while we can have some empathy for those telling their story and what they had to go through and you know, mostly it was unintended circumstances that caused all of this. We could hope that, that we don't have to deal with such drama, time commitment, and unnecessary expense in our own life. But the only way to be certain that things are going to be in order is to make sure to do what it takes to make it so. So it's not going to happen just by hope. So by hoping for a better outcome than our guest is not even a plan. We can't even call that a plan. But to help you out with this, each episode will highlight an expert that we will have come on, offer tips and resources, and also general education on a very important aspect of getting yourself together, getting organized, being prepared for the day when you may need some help with your affairs. And the subjects are endless. We'll have lots to talk about, as you may well imagine. There's just a lot to know. We're going to attempt to pass along as much as possible with each episode. So if you are curious or just dead set on having your stuff in order, then be sure and tune in. We'll be here every Friday. We're be sure and share this with relatives and friends. You'd want them to be up to speed as well. And, and be sure and subscribe, rate and review. That's really important, to, especially for a new podcast to get going. So, but I do have a disclaimer and I guess there always is one, right? So my role here, and even though I've been a financial planner in my past 30 years, I, I'm not a financial planner here. Really, I am a financial advocate. So by researching and relaying resources to you, I'm advocating a positive outcome, not giving financial advice. So be sure and consult with experts before making decisions on things we've talked about because they could have dire 
dire or unintended consequences. You should always really ask yourself the question, what happens with this issue? Should I be unable to handle it myself or if I should pass away? That would be a good question to ask about those big things in your life that you're really unsure about. My website, gotittogethernow.com, is a resource, and I will be adding things to that. I recommend that um, I'll be recommending it to you to take a look at it each week. Check it out. And also, I am preparing an online course. We will be offering that so that you can get your financial house in order, so that your loved ones could speak well of you, so that they can keep speaking to one another and be able to live what's left of their life without of being robbed of their precious time having to handle what you've left behind undone. So until next time, this is the end of our introductory podcast, but remember to stay safe out there and get motivated to leave a stress-free legacy for your loved ones. Bye-bye and take care. Thank you for listening to the Legacy Therapy Podcast. If we hit it out of the park today and you learned at least one new thing to take action on in your own quest to planning the best legacy possible, then be sure to tell your friends, subscribe, and rate and review wherever you get your podcast. The show notes will provide the sites and information that were discussed today. You can get more great tips, resources, and inspiration by visiting our website, Legacy Therapy Podcast dot com.